Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Ellie and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a review on the Take the Day Off Balm and Take the Day Off Milk. I've been seeing on YouTube a lot of people have been using the Take the Day Off Balm by Clinique and of course I wanted to try it out myself because um, taking off your makeup at the end of the day is a massive struggle. It's something that nobody wants to do, it takes a long time and the quicker it comes off the better to be honest. So I thought I'd go in and pick some up for myself. When I went into the shop the lady who served me was really really nice I told her I'd never used it before and that I was really interested and she actually said to me about my skin she asked me what sort of skin I had and to be honest I said I wasn't really sure I think it's oily not really sure because at the time my skin was a little bit like spotty and a bit greasy but it has cleared up a little bit since then um, but basically she said if my skin is oily then she recommends the milk rather than the balm but to take away two samples one of each and then try them out for myself so she gave me a little thing here of the Clinique milk and she also gave me a little one of the balm as well and these little samples are actually quite good, you know, you do get a decent amount in there. I've used these twice each, so I used the balm and the milk, so you can see the different consistencies there. I've used them both twice, so I've had a good little think about what I really think of them both. So I have filmed both of them for you, me using the milk and using the balm. The lighting isn't that great, but you can see the result because I do use a white sort of flannel to show if I've got all my makeup off. I think they're both really, really good. The balm was the first one I used and the one that I wanted to use the most because it's so sort of talk about. It is literally, the consistency is like coconut oil. If anybody's got coconut oil, then you'll know exactly what I mean by the consistencies, the way it melts. Um, you literally need a tiny little amount, you just rub it into your skin. It just feels really, really nice on your skin and then you just wash it away with warm water and a flannel. And then you can use the same with your eyes, you just put a little bit on your hands rub it into your eyes and then wipe it away and it is it just melts off it just literally melts off the same with the milk the milk I did find when I put it on my eyes it didn't come off as easily as the balm did um, it didn't break down the product as much but and also I did feel that it stung my eyes a little bit but I will say with the milk my skin felt a lot more moisturized and a lot um, smoother and softer after I had used it so um, I think to be honest they're both really good um, just the fact that the milk did sting my eyes sort of a little bit maybe I'm not sure if you're supposed to use this around your eyes so what I'm gonna do probably personally I think I'm gonna buy the balm and use that for a whole product until that's gone and then I'll probably buy the milk and use that for a whole product and then maybe do another review and let you know what I think overall over time what I preferred but from just using these little samples just twice I do prefer the balm but the milk is also really really nice get into the footage for you so you can have a little look and decide for yourself okay so I've had my makeup on all day and I just want to take it off so I'm gonna start by tying my hair up and rolling up my sleeves I am starting with the Clinique Balm, so just take a little bit on your hand, you don't need a lot, and rub it together and start to rub it into your skin. So I do rub it into my skin for a good few minutes. Once you've done that, I then start to wash it off with some fairly hot water and get off all of the excess makeup. I'm then going to go in with a little bit more and then start on my eyes. Make sure you do this very, very gently. Obviously, your eyes are very sensitive, but this does just completely melt off your mascara. It's just unbelievable. So now I'm going in with a hot flannel, and I've chosen a white one so you can see the excess product. Because there is still a little bit of makeup on my face, I am just going in a couple of times to really get rid of all of that makeup. And here I am, a squeaky clean, all of my makeup has completely come off and it was really, really easy. Alright, so now we're going to do the milk. I've got a full face of makeup here. Again, I've had it on all day. 
I'm just going to take a little bit on a cotton swab, pop it all over my face and start to rub it into my skin. And it's just the same process, so once I've finished that I'm just going to wash it off with some hot water until it's all gone. And now I'm going to go into my eyes, so taking a little bit on a cotton swab and really rubbing it gently into my eyes. Um, this one I did find stung my eyes a little bit, um, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be used for the eyes. And not only that, I did find that it didn't melt away the product as much as the balm did. I did go in again with the second layer, um, but again it just wasn't really rubbing away like the balm. So once I've done that, I'm just going to wash my face and then wash it again with a white flannel so you can see if there is any leftover product on the flannel. There was a little bit, but it was just pretty much the same as the balm. And here I am with a nice fresh and soft face. So yeah, that is the end of my sort of review slash first impressions of the Take the Day Off Balm and Take the Day Off Milk. If you're not sure what to get, I 100% recommend going into Boots or into Debenhams or House of Fraser or wherever there's a clinic near you and just asking for a little sample of each one and they will happily give it to you. So go and have a little try, try the milk, try the balm. One might work better for you than the other, but personally I just think I don't know. I mean, I might, I might in time, you know, prefer the milk, but I think the only reason for the balm is because of my eyes. It just felt a lot nicer at, at my eyes. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And I will be back with another video very soon. Goodbye!